Welcome back. I'm Ronald Tillman. And I'm Missy Turnwater. Our top story tonight, the Iowa Republican platform. Missy, you were taking us through some of the items mentioned in the platform. Yes, I was. Thank you, Ronald. We post statehood for the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. Excuse me, Missy. But I didn't know that the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico were clamoring to become states. It doesn't matter if they are, or they aren't. Republicans in Iowa do not want more than 50 states. But... Never mind. We call for the reintroduction and ratification of the original 13th Amendment, not the 13th Amendment in today's Constitution. The original 13th Amendment. What the heck is the original 13th Amendment? I can't believe how I have to educate you night after night. The original 13th Amendment states, if any citizen of the United States shall accept, claim, receive or retain any title of nobility or honor, or shall, without the consent of Congress accept and retain any present, pension, office or emolument of any kind whatever, from any emperor, king, prince or foreign power, such person shall cease to be a citizen of the United States and shall be incapable of holding any office of trust or profit under them, or either of them. But Missy. That amendment was never ratified. It cannot be a part of our Constitution. But it was ratified. Virginia ratified it in 1819. However, Secretary of State John Quincy Adams determined that it had not been ratified. It needed 14 states and it only received 13. That is a liberal lie. It is a democratic conspiracy to have this amendment be lost to us forever. The Republican Party of Iowa wanted to be restored. And, to do that, you want to remove the current 13th Amendment, the one that bans slavery. Yes. And this amendment is more important than slavery. Why? Because President Obama accepted the Nobel Peace Prize and he did not deserve it, nor should he have accepted it. So, the Republican Party of Iowa have so lost their minds that they want to make a change to the Constitution of the United States of America because President Obama accepted the Nobel Peace Prize. Is that correct, Missy? Yes, Ronald, that is correct. So, you people in the right wing have just gone completely nuts. That is not true, Ronald. We are very sane people. Do you want an amendment to ban gay marriage? Yes. And you want to add an amendment to the Constitution that was never ratified and never accepted just to embarrass and harass the President of the United States of America? Yes. And you don't think that is nuts? No. It is not nuts. It is our right as Americans to believe what we want to believe and impose those beliefs on the rest of America.